All right, I am back. I uh, went to a Dollar Tree and got a Dollar Tree haul. Um, thought I'd share that with you. I also uh, walked through Dollar Tree. It was um, fun, even though this store is always a mess. Every now and then they get busy and clean it all up again, but. They um, clean it up and then they wreck it again and then don't worry about it for a while. I think they clean it up when they do inventory and then after that it's a mess again. When, at inventory, other people come in and do it. Okay, so I found these. Um, she run them up one at a time. But I thought that it would be a dollar twenty-five for the whole pack. But she said apparently uh, they were supposed to take them out. Um, so I spent five dollars for these instead. Of I want to taste it. I'm hungry. It's a protein shake, whole food protein, milk chocolate flavor, twenty-five grams of protein and one hundred and fifty calories, and carbs. Uh, net carbs is three for the whole thing. So it's MRE. What does that mean? Is that what they give the military? MRE, I think. Bismillah. Very good. Delicious. It says it's animal-based proteins. Of course, that's milk. Um, anyway. was good and satisfying the protein is makes it satisfying I was considering having a shake a day, like uh, one of those um, either slim fast or any other brand uh, <clears throat> of protein shakes for one meal a day and just eat two meals I got a pack of pens. That was what I went in for, was to buy a pack of pens. I I think these look like pretty good pens for a dollar and a quarter. Big Jello City or Jellocity, I'm not sure. Extra smooth gel pen, vibrant writing. They had a, a pack of just one or a pack of four. <laughs> so I need to pick up pens more often because I'm constantly hunting for a pen. Okay. Now I have a bag here of hoodies. These are Biddle Honey because I don't know if my kids ever ate real Biddle Honey. They ate the, the freeze dried one that we got from uh, Mississippi from the um, salvage market. They had those. Now I want to give them these to try. They're good. They're old fashioned. My mom, my mom and dad, when they used to write letters to each other, because my dad lived in Pens in no, my dad lived in Maryland, and mom lived in Pennsylvania when when they were growing up. So they were writing letters back and forth and they put a piece of Biddle Honey candy in their letter. <laughs> I thought that was an adorable story. But that was they were both born in the fifties. So I thought uh, I want my kids to try that. It's a very old kind. And then I found this candy. It, it reminds me of those caramel creams, but this is Oreo creams. I couldn't find any caramel creams, but I think the kids will enjoy, enjoy that. It has Oreo cookie crumbs in it. And then, I found something interesting. 
I've never seen before. It's eight individually wrapped bars and it says two is a serving, but since I'm on keto, I could have one because the carbs are, it's 15 carbs for two. And it, well, 14 carbs for two. And then if I have one, that would be seven and a half grams, say eight grams. So I'll have one bar for seven grams uh, after subtracting um, the dietary fiber. That will last me a while. Um, and I found some sugar-free goodies too for me. I found these sugar-free chewy caramels from Werther's. I got two of those, two of the chewy ones. And then I found this um, sugar-free caramel chocolate. And I have to hide my my stash or the kids will eat it. And this one's caramel coffee. And these are hard candies. I like them because they're sugar-free and they taste good. So I got Hassan some ranch, um, ranch um, sunflower seeds. He's into different flavors of sunflower seeds. I looked at the Russell Stover candies that um, they have in here and I I don't want it because um, didn't put that necklace in here. I'll be going back. Okay. Um, yeah, so I um, just realized I paid for a necklace that, I got, that she didn't put in. She must have laid it down there. So I looked at the Russell Stover's sugar-free candy they have at Dollar Tree. Their packets are only have three pieces in it in in their sugar-free Russell Stovers but um, I uh, didn't get any because when I went to the market uh, to the salvage market in Mississippi I got um, some that was three ounces um, and that was dollar uh, sixty eight or dollar something and um, Anyway, so um, I'm distracted thinking about that necklace she didn't put in uh, at the city thrift. So anyway, I um, I looked at it and I was like, oh well, I, I did got a really good deal on that three ounce, those three ounce packs of um, candy that I got. So. I have this, I'm going to drink this while it's cold. It's protein coffee, maple donut flavor, and it's cold, and I'm going to drink it and try it. It has 7 grams of carbs, net carbs, and it has 10 grams of protein, and uh, I haven't tried it yet, but some of the others have more, more carbs of this brand, Alani. But the protein ones have less carbs. They have some that's not protein. Bismillah. Really tastes like maple syrup. I don't think they put actual maple syrup in it. No, it doesn't. It just says natural and artificial flavor. <laughs> so, It 
was good. Mmm. <clears throat> That's really good. They have other flavors. They have vanilla and they have cappuccino. But I wanted the maple donut flavor. And then I got one more of these super coffees. I always love these. This is plant-based, zero sugars. It, it will have one net carb for the whole thing. So it's keto. I don't know if it says keto on it anywhere, but it, it is keto uh, friendly. Yep, here it says keto. And I found a spice that I, I thought I would try. Zatarain Southern Style Blackened Seasoning for blackening shrimp or blackening um, chicken breast or something. I'd, I'd like to blacken one. And I got um, this keto friendly um, halal kosher. It says it's halal and kosher. Um, I like it when I find things that are halal and kosher because um, Muslim and Jewish people have special uh, dietary requirements and I love that it says that in the Quran it says that we are allowed to eat food from the people of the book and Jewish and Christian people and Muslim people are people of the book so when I see this I feel like connected like we're all connected we're, we're siblings or cousins and I got several of these because it is the finest, the most powdery uh, coconut flour I, I've ever found. I, the one I have at home is coarse and I, I don't really like that texture for everything. It works for some things, but not for everything. I'm, I want to look for a recipe for sugar cookies. Um, keto sugar, uh, like butter cookies. And so I got, that was the end of the food, I believe. And then I got a few other things. I, I went ahead and got these uh, cookie cutters that I showed you in the store. I guess this video should be separate. I'm probably going to end up making two videos. Okay. Now I got these wax melts air freshener it's blueberries it says black blackberries and sage i don't smell sage but i do smell berry blackberry a, a very distinct blackberry smell and this pack is bigger than like it has two more than the others the regular ones i buy there or maybe they're just bigger i don't know but i, I was happy to find that I, it makes me want to break out my um my air uh my wax milk things and i got this mug in the past the mug always had a nose that stuck out like this made of ceramic and i want to protect him now because that nose can break off i had one years ago with a nose um that stuck out like this and it broke off and i was very sad and when i went back to find another one i couldn't find one because um the new ones have the nose painted on and it's flat and it's not as cute and i just really like it and that's my little christmas tree i like these little bottle brush christmas trees they're cute now that's the end of my haul i think oh no i didn't show you oh no i'm not done <laughs> i did get these um they are so pretty and they have that snowflake uh, that glittery uh, shimmery snowflake thread in it and I really like them they're so classy very very classy and they don't look like they come from Dollar Tree they just look much prettier than a Dollar Tree item you would think I paid a lot more than a dollar and a quarter but I didn't I got them from Dollar Tree I'm going over there to see if she's going to give me I'm obsessed now I'm upset because she didn't put that in there I didn't notice it when I was doing the haul okay and then i got this and this to go in my farm hall um i'll take the plastic off and show it to you because um 
maybe you can see it better if there's if the plastic is off i like this one because it has a house with a porch and i love it it's like perfect for my farm for my farm um collage i have like two short walls on at, by the door of my bathroom and and both sides are are all decorated in farm theme uh, pictures and that's where they will go and i leave that up all the time i don't change that i want my farm theme um because even though life uh, i ended up going in different direction i never uh, thought that i hate farm life i never thought i hate farm life i thought i i'm going because i want to transfer to a different college or i want to uh move to find a, a, a better job or something like that was always why i was moving and i never thought i i'm moving because i hate farming but and i like this because it's a little river in between the trees and i just love it and it's going in my farm collage and that is it uh, it's so cute there now the end of the haul hope you liked it so when i first saw it i saw the plain side and i wanted it and then i saw that it had a k on it and that um and i thought well i was going to give it to my daughter when it was plain and then uh when i saw the k i changed my mind and then i thought briefly and i said well my niece's name starts with a k i'll take it that could be a stocking stuffer i think that's really cute and um, I just think that would be so adorable. It could be a stocking stuffer or in a little, uh, you know, gift for just because. <laughs> so anyway, I I wanted it, and then I noticed I I forgot about it for a minute, and then when I um, came back. Um, she just had it she didn't even say anything i said did i leave a necklace here and she said and she just picked it up and handed it to me i said you found it and i just love the people who work at city thrift they're a, they're a sweetheart they're so sweet and adorable and helpful and i just love shopping here because shopping anywhere is better when the people who work there are super sweet and helpful and I, uh, and this is one of those places, City Thrift. Even the manager, she's awesome. But I'm happy I found my necklace. Let's see, let's have a Dollar Tree shop with me. I like looking at these items. These are pretty with the snowflakes. I bet I get some of those. They are so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I didn't get four of them or maybe six. <laughs> no, four is enough. Yeah. That's a good number. They have cute stuff here for the holidays. They have those other ones too. Place mats with holly and the wreath. So gorgeous. And here are some plates with snowflakes on them.
<gasps> this is cute. I love that. Put a little candle in it would be really sparkly because it has that mercury paint inside, like a mirror. The, the silver one's my favorite. I don't really care for that green shimmer or the blue shimmer. I, I like this one the most. It's so cute. Little Christmas trees. Let's go see everything. cotton candy. <laughs> what fun. So many pretty ornaments. Oops. Shelf here. Let's see. Oh, they have those checkered ones. See, sir. I'm going to get white. I don't want to red. Those checkered uh, Christmas uh, ornaments are cute. They have red and they have black and white and uh, they have some other things that have checkered designs on it i didn't notice that in past years that, that must be a new trend i like the angel wings they're cute okay They have a lot of cute picks if you want to make an arrangement or a centerpiece. I have so many things in my closet that I'm not really trying to buy any new ornaments or or um, picks or anything because I have so many from past years. But I still want to see what's new. <laughs> Because it's fun and sparkly and pretty. I I saw this one in other years and I like it. It's glittery and it has pearls. So pretty. Oh, I didn't see those pom pom and sequin um, ornaments before. I don't know if they're new or not. Oh, these are bay leaves, sparkly bay leaves. What are, I, I would not like those because the glitter is coming off really bad. Mm, they have these little cute uh, decor pieces with uh, gnomes. I think my sister would have liked those, but I don't know. She likes gnomes and bees. They have a lot of um, fake flowers here. Most of them have glitter, and and that glitter is not nice. It comes off all over the place. And I like these. I think these are my favorite. These are the nicest, most subtle, and beautiful. Um, placemats ever. I can't believe how pretty they are and, and classy. Now let's see. They have more uh, things here to make your own wreaths. If you are... I used to love crafting, but lately I, when I'm... Uh, when I have a, something, when I have a time to do something, I don't want to do crafts. I wish I did. Because crafts are cool. We still have a few fall things here. Yeah, because Thanksgiving isn't over yet. Oh, I like the fall leaf cookie cutters. Those are nice. I like them. I guess that's a turkey. I want the leaves. I'd like to make something in the shape of leaves. 
Oh, look at those mushrooms. Those are cool. I don't know what anyone would do with them, but they're gorgeous. They look amazing. They have several different colors. They have blue and orange and, and this reddish pink and brown. I like those berry picks. Those are cute. And that berry pick too. And they have some cupcake papers and um, picks. Nice. And over here, I like it when there's no music so I can, I actually want a Christmas tree. <laughs> so cute. I don't know. I think I want this one because it looks, it's white at the top and it looks like it has snow on it. also glittery but it doesn't have that large glitter that I don't like I have so many cute things that you can make crafts with oh yeah they have some fairy garden things I like to put fairy garden things in my flower pots it, it seems to keep the cats out, but but actually, not the little things. I, I need the houses and cars and, and campers and things. And it keeps the cats from digging in it. I'm so happy to have anything that keeps them out. I just pile them in there. I don't even have any rhyme or reason to how I pack them in there. I always like these fragrance sachets they smell so good <gasps> look 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 there's a blackberry one from great sense i've never seen that before and it has a lot in it it smells good i'm not usually into food and fruit foodie and fruity scents unless there's citrus but the blackberry is good when it's closed Maybe I'll break out a wax warmer. They have a lot of different ones up there, but those are smaller and they're a different brand. Those are Lum Luminescence brand. And this one is um, Great Sense. I don't think it's a brand name, but it smells like blackberries. It has a very subtle smell I, that's why i like it subtle oh look at these mini flower pots how cute well this store is a bit of a mess it's not my favorite dollar tree but um i still like coming here now and then it's the closest to home and i just went to city thrift so i decided to come here after um so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. Okay. What is it? That's interesting. It's a two color candle uh, holder. Interesting, but it's chipped. I guess that's why it's still here. I don't see any others. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Happiness is an inside job. That's cute. Oh, that's pretty. I want to put that with my farm collage. Or... I don't have a house yet. I want that one too. That's my house. <laughs> well, that's a nothing. 
that's just nothing. What the heck? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I like this. These two. Okay. Well, they don't have very many fairy um, houses here. They, uh, I don't see any at all. But, oops, I saw this little hedgehog. He would, he would definitely keep a cat from ticking, but he's missing an ear. So I decided no. And these uh, gnomes could sit in it too and keep the cats out. <laughs> There's different things that uh, work for that. I guess this mushroom, which is an old thing, um, and it's chipped, but um, that would keep cats from digging too. And, and this little house, but it's broken. Everything here is chipped or broken, it looks like. That's why it's still here, I suppose. Keto friendly, can you see it right there? And every one of them says it's keto friendly. And they are Nudge brand coffee bombs. This one is a caramel macchiato flavor. They're on sale, so I got them all, all flavors. Six, six different flavors. I got a caramel macchiato, and I got a uh, vanilla latte, and I got a mocha latte, and this went in the candy aisle at Kroger. Um, I got a hazelnut cream, <laughs> and I got a uh, Colombian Reserve. Each one is five dollars and thirty-nine cents. So. But I plan to hide these. They're my personal stash. <laughs> as long as my daughter's asleep, nobody will find it. No, nope. I'll hide it and she will, no one will know. She's the one who would catch me with it. <laughs> but I really like the, them, the flavors that I've tried. I, I've tried the vanilla and I've tried the one of the others, I think it was the mocha that my daughter had. So now, my, my son's had the vanilla. But these are going to be my personal stash because they're keto. And the kids can eat the things that are not keto. I'm, I'm working on um, pre-making keto food. So uh, be on the lookout for uh, keto cooking um, marathons or cooking frenzies as I like to call them. <laughs> Keto cooking frenzies keep me on track. But I've not been on track very well for the past ever since we came back from Kentucky I really haven't been on track. Now I I want to get to be on track. I want to get back on track. And the way I stay on track is to have things pre-made. I was successful for a year so I plan to keep going. Next year I'm gonna ride the zip line for sure. <laughs> so help me God.